Hello, it's day 73 of the Liberator project and this is part four and this is the last bit of Borscht day because uh, the pot's been simmering for um, well nearly an hour I suppose but uh, I thought I'd show you the final result. Now you can see if you can spot the problem. That's a really nice borscht. It will taste fantastic, but sadly, you know, due to the uh, lack of suitable beetroot, it's not developed that really nice, rich, dark red, purpley colour. But you know, we knew that was going to be a problem. But you know, it's <laughs> you can make it without any beetroot in it at all. It doesn't matter. So it's a uh, it's going to taste fantastic and. You know, to be honest, if they've got beetroots in the shop, I can always add some to. I can always cook some separately and add them later. But it was a bit of a shame because it would have been nice if it was. It looked like a traditional borsch. You know, again, you know, you know, it would prove that I, you know I knew what I was doing. But you know that I knew from the start there might be a problem. But I was expecting it to be. <laughs> I still expected it to be red rather than this colour. But never mind. If you listen. It makes that sort of thick, oh, I've steamed the camera up. <laughs> Hang on. As um, It's the Liberator project. We're not gonna do other takes. You know, you're gonna have it rough as hell and uh, you'll see everything then. It's not, you know, this is, this is real life. But if you listen to it, it's got a, it doesn't sound like water anymore. It's got a funny sort of a thick splashing sound. And that's that's what you really wanted, you know, to have the uh, eggs in for. It's really given it a nice, nice texture. So that needs to, I will actually have some because I'm really hungry now and it smells fantastic. But what I need to do is let that cool overnight. Tomorrow it goes into the fridge and then tomorrow lunchtime, that's when it will start tasting good. It, uh, but I'm sure it tastes good now, but it, it does. You make this and it, it takes a good day before it tastes uh, its best. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's cooking and uh, thanks very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>